When we last left Paul, he had just seen his friends brutally murdered by a killer he'd drawn with his own hands. And he was left to climb the Hill of Skulls and the Castle of Bones alone, with the panda man behind him, moving quickly. What you gonna do with that blood on your hands? Can't wash it all, try as hard as you can. It's all your fault. You might get caught. The heaviest companion to carry Paul slung it over his shoulder Climbed up a tall hill of skulls Thrown among bones and boulders The howl scream went behind him It got colder while the right hand grabs Left foot lifts Right arm pulls Heartbeat skips Fear is a motivating friend at best Paul listened to its calm steady advice As he reached the top And never looked back The castle of bones front gate already cracked So the right hand reach Left hand push Head peeps through The boy runs in What you gonna do with that blood on your hands? Can't wash it all Try as hard as you can It's all your fault You might get caught Rushed to the stairs, slow footsteps behind. Stairs made of bones, walls made of bone. What was gonna kill him first? Would it be the heartbreak or the knife? Right foot steps, left foot trips. He picks himself up, heartbeat skips. Shame is the quietest comrade. Torchlight flickers, blood runs quicker. Steep staircase, wine gut gets sicker. Picturing the death of friends, sobs and shivers. Dim lit halls, long shadow stretch. Throat shuts tight, gag, short breath. The panda man behind, maybe two flights. Better run quick or more death tonight. Almost there, almost where. Water drops, ice cold fall on his hair. Right eye cries, the left arm wipes. Energy runs low, right leg steps. Left leg steps, right leg go. Come on feet, no time to move slow. Right foot drags, left foot leads. The killer don't tire, no, he just gains speed. His right foot stalks, left leg haunts, right hand grips knife, left hand taunts. What you gonna do with that blood on your hands? Can't wash it all, try as hard as you can. It's all your fault. You might get caught. Salvation is a door at the top of the stairs, ready as it seems. Metal at the seams, thick ancient oak wood, heavy as it swings, sort of like his heart was, heavy at the strings. Hand pulls door, show wasn't his. Warm hand pulls him in, silver teeth grin. Relief is a familiar face come to your aid, then your shoulders let loose the exhaustion and pain, and you collapse to the ground. Up in the ball, while the thief king comforts you, cradling arms. Door slams shut, tears run foul. Paul safe now, thief king bows. Paul lifted himself up, feeling stronger. Ransom, the thief king, smiled and patted him on his shoulder. Well done, Lord Paul. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the throne which is rightfully yours. He threw back the hood of his plush cloak. The vast, round throne room was deathly still. The lofty ceiling was enveloped in shadow and dozens of gigantic sleeping bats hung above in a perfect circle high above the boy and the thief. They were larger than Paul, but slept like the dead, with wings folded around their black bodies. Directly beneath each sleeping bat, standing proudly against the wall, were stone statues of kings, all with their arms crossed like the bats above them. The statues were tombs, and the dead kings were all looking at Pygmy Paul. Paul clutched the sketchbook in his back pocket, the hair on the back of his neck standing up. He didn't want to be here. A long, dirty red carpet ran to the other side of the room, up a small rising of steps. At the top of the steps sat a sad throne before a colossal window overlooking all of the nobody hole. It reminded Paul of the view from jack o lanterns mansion. His heart sagged at the thought of her. The throne was old, decrepit wood, decaying and wet with rot. 
Once upon a time, it looked like it may have been strong oak. From its seat rose a strong, proud sunflower with a thick, bristling, ropey stem. The sunflower faced the window, bowing forward like an old, cheerless ruler overlooking his realm. But it had a great power. That power lit the throne room. It lit the entire nobody hall. The thief king's padded boots made no sound as he walked up behind the dumbfounded boy. You don't remember any of this, do you? Paul shook his head. When you cry, it rains here. When you laugh, the ground shakes. You dream life into this place, and it lives in your dreams through your blood. Well then, as the king of thieves and advisor to the king, it's my duty to tell you who you are and why we're here. More importantly, you must know how the nobody hole came about. Pay attention, boy. We don't have all day. Your manda creation will be arriving shortly. As the heavy footsteps of the killer came closer, he bent low and whispered in the boy's ear. Welcome home, Paul. <laughs>